OneDrive is designed to be used in several different ways. You can use OneDrive on the web using a web browser, but the most convenient way to use OneDrive is by using the desktop app. This way, you gain access to your OneDrive files right from your Windows Explorer file browser. Let's have a look at it. By visiting your OneDrive folder in the Windows Explorer, you can immediately tell that there is something different about this folder compared to the others because of the new status column that shows these colorful icons. The cloud icon means that the file is currently available in the cloud. Opening one of these files will download it to your device locally. The changes you make to these files will still be synced in the cloud though. Once a file is downloaded locally, the status icon will change to a green checkmark. The files with this green checkmark will over time remove themselves locally and revert to the cloud when you haven't used them in a while, so you save on local disk space. If you want your files to always be available locally, right click the file and click always keep on this device. The green checkmark will now change to a solid green checkmark, and this file will now always be kept locally on your device, while changes to the file will also be synced with the cloud. If a status symbol has a little person next to it, it means that the file has been shared with others. Let's have a look at some of the options you get when you right-click a file. If you right-click a file that is locally on your device, you have the option to free up space. Clicking this option will remove the file locally, but keeps it in the cloud so that this will free up space on your hard disk. Super handy for when you're running low on space. At the bottom of this right-click menu, you also have the share option. With this option, you can share your files with anyone in and outside of your organization. Just type their name or email address right here, or copy the link to send yourself. Apart from the OneDrive folder in your file browser, you also have the dedicated OneDrive app. If you click this OneDrive icon at the top right of the screen, you get a small pop-up telling you the status of your files, how much cloud storage you have left, and you have three buttons at the bottom that allow you to see the recycle bin online, see the entire OneDrive folder online in a web browser, and see the settings app. If we click on the Your Files Are Synced bar, a new pop-up opens in the bottom right of the screen. This shows you all of the files that have recently been synced, and if there are any syncing problems, those errors will show up here too, telling you which files are affected. You can also open this pop-up by clicking the OneDrive icon in the system tray in the taskbar. Clicking the three dots next to a file in this list will bring up a small menu allowing you to open the file, share it, view it online in a web browser, and you can even see its version history from here. At the bottom of this pop-up, we also have some options to open the OneDrive folder if you don't have it open yet, and view your OneDrive folder and recycle bin online in a web browser. Clicking the cog at the top of the pop-up shows you some additional options. Here you can access the settings window, send feedback to Microsoft, get help in case you need it, manage your storage to see what files take up the most space, and you can pause syncing for 2 hours, 8 hours, or 24 hours if you want to. This is handy for when you have a bad internet connection and you don't want OneDrive to use internet bandwidth for file syncing purposes. Let's dive into the settings window. In here you can change which folders get backed up onto OneDrive, turn off or on the option to start OneDrive when Windows starts, what account is being used and unlink your current account, and what folders and files will show up in your OneDrive folder. You can also change notification settings from here in case you don't really care about some of them, they're all on by default. And you can check the About page to become part of the OneDrive Insider Preview. This will let you preview new features before they become publicly available. Do note that this preview version may be less stable than the normal version of OneDrive. And that's OneDrive for Windows! You have now learned everything you need to know about using the app to your best advantage. Now go and explore the app for yourself and become the OneDrive Master. Good luck!